It was a brutal attack on Aden's airport, just as newly appointed Yemeni government officials arrived, killing more than 20 people, including civilians and aid workers. But what the U.S. has done since, blaming Iran-backed Houthi separatists and designating them a terrorist organization, will have more deadly and far-reaching consequences. That, according to Martin Griffiths, the United Nations special envoy who recently visited the country. We fear, in my mission, that there will be inevitably a chilling effect on my efforts to bring the parties together. Even worse, according to the U.N. and aid agencies, the move is likely to push Yemen over the brink and into widespread famine. After six years of civil war, 16 million people, more than half of the population, already rely on humanitarian assistance to buy food, 90 percent of which is imported. Aid agencies say the terrorism designation will disrupt the supply chain, increase prices, and possibly cause suppliers to pull out of the country altogether. David Beasley heads the Nobel Prize-winning World Food Program. With the designation, it's going to be catastrophic. It literally is going to be a death sentence to hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of innocent people in Yemen. And quite frankly, it needs to be reversed. The United States has promised to work with aid agencies, but says the move is needed as years of peace talks have yielded little in the way of results. I want to ensure that everyone in this council and our briefers, that their views, their concerns are informing how we approach the designation implementation. And we are listening. But we do believe that this step is the right move forward the designation of Iranian-backed Houthis as terrorists is the final salvo in the United States' so-called maximum pressure campaign against Iran, and it's due to go into effect on January 19th, one day before President Trump leaves office. Already there are calls on President-elect Joe Biden to reverse the decision, along with the warning that by that time, damage will already have been done. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera the United Nations.